third day of work, um, which I'm sure most people do three days of work. Camille, and you're tired. Um, health issues. Because <laughs> legit, like today, um, three people showed up and none of them were here for more than like an hour. So the rest of the day was just me working on personal projects. So it's pretty good. Not copy. <laughs> um, let me quickly show you guys how my knickerbockers uh, have gone, if I can get to them. <laughs> um, we're going in code orange again in New Brunswick, so there's a big chance the center is going to be closed. So I uh, just basically packed my stuff to bring it home. I think that that's my knickerbockers. Nope, that's my vest. Give me a sec, guys. Let me just try to get this. There. Okay, so. Here are my knickerbockers so far. The only thing left is the pocket. So I'm gonna show you guys quickly. I'm really, really proud of them. Uh -huh. So here is the back of them. So they've got the little strap. And then this is the front. And I love this little detail that I put in. The inside of the pocket's actually plaid which is really, really cool and cute. And then the inside, except for the pockets, the pockets still need to be bound, but everything else, all the other seams are all bound with seam binding. So it's nice and clean. It's gonna last me forever. And um, yeah, the other thing left is just to put buttons here and then two or three buttons um, here and then the buttonholes on both sides and those will be my victorian psyching bloomers or knickerbockers they're they're not the same thing but they both to me look the same so i'm like i use the two interchangeably um but let me give you guys a bit of a tour of my room so there's my desk the sewing machine wasn't there originally. Obviously, I moved it. And then we've got a few tables where some of my students sit um, to kind of socially isolate. There's like a bit of distance between each of them. And there's like our main cutting table. The Pringles cans are because I'm planning on doing soap making with them eventually. Then more sewing tables. There's the iron. And we've got a little fridge where we can put stuff in. And yeah. And then all of our stuff stored in the back. So there's my classroom and a mirror to check sizing on stuff. And, and they've been like covering this with cute uh, like hand knitted examples of stuff. That tends to be their um, I'm done my project and I just want to work on something and chat project they tend to do a lot of knitting but um, yeah so that is basically my little classroom um, which I do enjoy um, it was weird today not having anybody in here because we usually uh, at least have a few people in <laughs> like usually I have uh, there's one lady she's um, an elderly lady and she's the sweetest thing and uh yeah she, she had a doctor's appointment so she didn't come in and i was like you're abandoning me <laughs> like jokingly obviously but she gets amused with my sense of humor so all right let's just finish repacking that's basically it that i wanted to show you guys i just wanted to show you guys what my classroom looked like 
fact that I actually have a classroom is just really weird to me. Um, I'm uh, looking forward to doing more stuff, but God, I'm looking forward to going home. I miss Claire. I miss my sewing space. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a sewing space quite yet to add the new place. Um, the desk is set up, but it's got a pile of patterns and stuff in it, so we need to organize them. Um, but we are very, very close to having a sewing space for me in there. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just packing a lot of my stuff. Because, yeah, we have like a little coffee maker and quite often we like to make coffee. So I'll bring, I'll bring stuff in to share. Um, most of them uh, don't have much money. Um, a lot of them are on assistance or disability and stuff. So, you know, I don't have to bring stuff to share. It's nice sometimes bringing stuff to share and putting a smile on their faces. Um, and... Get my orange. My orange was stuck on the under there. And oh, that is a lobs container. I'm bad for forgetting things. It's the curse of ADHD. Funny enough, I don't. I literally like my hair. I just showered and then my hair just naturally came like this. But I don't hate it. <laughs> When push comes to shove, I will send the fully on battalion to remind you of my love. So this place is Lancre. It's um it's in Richbuckdu, New Brunswick. It's a um non-for-profit organization they do a lot of outreach programs different things um i'm in charge of the um, workshop and the main main thing for the workshop is to help fight um isolation um not covid related isolation if they tell you to isolate you isolate um but no um isolation in rural areas because you know when you live in the country sometimes it's very hard to you know get to see people or have company and stuff like that so it's it's you know they come in they they do some art which is really good for mental health and different things and they get to talk to people and chat and have fun and um yeah i get to teach them stuff at the same time which is which is always fun um right now we are currently working on plushies and let me see here. Let's show you guys. So this is we're making little GG cats. So you can see like the oops, that's hers here. Um, mine's all packed up. So I um I was working on one as well. Um, I think I'm gonna give it to my girlfriend's niece for Christmas. She's 11, so she's kind of at that awkward age where you don't know if she still likes plushies or not. So hopefully she'll like it. And, um, but yeah, we're, uh, like, I like trying to pick different things to get them to, you know, work on. And, um, we're going to see if, um, if we even open next week because it's code orange so but if not I'll just plan for a uh, December schedule and uh, that'll be fun too um, everyone in, in my workshop uh, really enjoys Christmas and I really enjoy Christmas so it'll be a lot of fun to plan uh, Christmas gift projects or Christmas ornaments or just all sorts of different decorations and stuff. So that'll be a, a lot of fun. Um, already one of them there, she'll come up, what about doing this? What about doing that? And I'm like, patience, 
like, we'll start doing Christmas stuff in December. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to head home. And then I am going to start making buttonholes. Lots and lots of buttonholes. Um, I'm probably going to be in buttonhole hell for a few days. Because I need to make the buttonholes for my knickerbockers. And I need to make buttonholes for my um, for my waistcoat. And the waistcoat has at least 12 buttons. And the knickerbockers have three on each side. Plus the... Um, the, so four on each side so about eight buttons so it's a good amount of buttons good amount of buttonholes and I'm gonna do hand bound um, because if you're doing like vintage historic garments and then you go and you machine bind buttons it's not the same <laughs> and it just to a seasoned person who really loves historical garments it just kind of ruins the illusion so we're not gonna do that it's also why i chose not to use um iron-on interfacing um except for one part when i did the um the double welt pockets i did iron on a little bit of interfacing just in that area to reinforce it while I was sewing it um, but other than that everything else sewing interfacing based it all around um, I don't know like I'm I'm getting really proud of my skills and how how I'm doing sewing wise um, the last time I made pants was like five or six years ago um, and like these were made like the way that I made them was basically like like a tailor would you know I finished every seam and everything and just like made it really 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 nice and oh, I'm proud of myself <laughs> if you can't be proud of yourself who else is going to be right so my husband used to like I, I used to love going home and like showing him what I did and he'd be like I'm really proud of you sweetie and I'd be like thank you <laughs> So, yeah. But anyway, I will see you guys because, uh, yeah, I'm due another Ritalin. Um, so my brain is just all over the place right now. So, anyway, that I just got a text from the secretary. We're doodly.